let's discuss one of my favorite feature of LangChain and that is agents. So agents are systems that combine the decision making ability of the language model with the tools to execute and implement solutions on our behalf. They can be used for a variety of tasks and are largely defined by the tools. So these agents depend on the tools to which type of tool they have access. So let's discuss first those tools. Langchain provides us bunch of different tools such as terminals, API interfaces, Google search, uh, Bing search, tools required for access to databases. So you can read them on their official page. We have bunch of them. For the sake of this tutorial, we are going to use the shell tool of Langchain. So shell tool allow us to execute the shell command in Langchain. So let's first import that shell tool and let's see how it works. Now let's create an instance of this shell tool. So terminal is going to be the object of this shell tool. And now uh, let's run a command on this shell tool. I'm going to save the result in this response and I'll say terminal dot run. And inside run, we need to pass our commands. So you can pass more than one command at the same time, but you need to pass your data in form of a dictionary. So open these parentheses, then the key is going to be commands. While the value is going to be a list of all the commands. So I'm going to execute only one command. Uh, let's execute uh, IP config. And finally, let's print this response. Let's check it out. And yes, this is what ipconfig returns in our command prompt. So we got all the details regarding Ethernet adopters. So agent uses the description of the tools in order to use them properly. So we know that we need to pass here this dictionary but our agent don't know. So in order to tell the agent in every tool, we have what's called the description property. So let's print the description of this shell tool. Terminal dot description. Let's run. And here is our description. Yes, run shell commands on this Windows machine. Our agents will understand that, okay, whenever I came across a scenario where I need to execute some shell commands, I'm going to use this shell tool. But now we also need to tell our agent that which type of arguments uh, this tool is going to take from you. So for this purpose, we have another property in this terminal, which is called args. So let's print that one. I think I should comment this. Let's run it again. Okay, so these are the instructions which are going to tell our agent that use this tool according to these rules. But I have told you that our agent is going to read only the description, not the argument of the tool. So we need to put our arguments in the description of the tool as well. So instead of printing these arguments, I'll say, Terminal dot description is equals to description of this tool plus the arguments of this tool as well. So f it's going to be a formatted string. Terminal dot args. You just need to reformat these arguments because our agent is going to use the JSON to load these arguments. So for this purpose, we just need to add some extra parentheses to these arguments. So I'm going to replace these single parentheses with double parentheses. So let's write here dot replace and I'm going to replace single parentheses, oops, a single parentheses with double one and I'm going to do the same process for right hand parenthesis as well. Now this is going to be our description of this tool. And now this tool is ready to be passed to our agent. So let's import our agent from langchain dot 
agents import initialize agent and right here I'm going to initialize our agent agent is equals to initialize and we need to pass here the list of tools that this agent is going to use uh, which language model it's going to use and what is the type of the agent and finally we have an extra argument and that is verbose whether we want to see the intermediate steps or not but the first three things are extremely important so let's pass here our tool list so it's going to be our terminal which we have just created and then which model it's going to use obviously it's going to use LLM so let's create this model and this time I'm going to use the chat GPT turbo model so let's type here langchain dot chat models import chat open AI this is going to be our model let's initialize it LLM is equals to chat open a and now we need to define uh, which model it's going to use so model is going to be so this is our LLM model and obviously we need to set our open AI API so import OS module now we have tools and we have our LLM model finally we need to define which type of agent it's going to be so this agent is going to be a chat agent but it's not going to use any kind of information and it's going to use the react framework which makes this agent react according to the description of the tool so the most suitable agent type in this case is going to be so let's import this agent type yes agent type and the most suitable agent is going to be chat zero short react description so chat means it's going to be a chat model zero short means it will have no memory and react description means it's going to use react framework and which reacts or which perform actions based on the description of the tool and that's why we have prepared this custom description for this terminal and finally if you want to see the intermediate steps not just the final output you can put this verbose to true and it's time to check our model let's store the result inside the result variable agent dot run let's pass our query so I want to check what is my IPv4 address so let's type here and let's print this result I hope it will work let's test it out we got error uh, sorry it will not be a string again run it so our agent executor chain has started now these are intermediary steps if you put verbose to fall you are not going to see them wow we got error so we need to tell here that this is going to be the argument so we got this uh, value is not a valid list this means this model is not uh, typing our IP config in a right format so let's tell that these are going to be the arguments and now let's run it we got our desired output so one of the most important thing in this whole step is to define this description very very carefully now let's test another thing I want to find how many files are there in my current directory and let's test it out okay so it's first trying uh, the Linux ls command so it's not ls it's cd and yes it found that we have five files in our current directory so you can count them one two three four five and it's correct so I hope you have understood how this agents work and first we need to obviously define a model then initialize the tool 
and then we need to change the description of that tool so make sure that uh, you should write this description as it is or you will find this description uh, in the description of this video yes and then initialize the agent by passing the tools the model and the agent type and test it out using the run method and in the next lecture we are going to learn another important concept and i'll see you there bye bye